So if you want to get into AI coding, you have without a doubt heard about tools like Lovable, Bold, Replit, or V0 by Versal. These are all really cool tools that allow you to build prototypes very fast, but they have two very big problems. Number one is that they are just not as powerful as the tools that developers use to code with AI. And number two is that they're very expensive. And this is what this video is about, because if you want to get into AI coding, but you don't want to go broke in the process, then keep watching. Hi, my name is Rob and I've been a developer for over 20 years. And just in the last two weeks, I have built two tools. Number one, completely with AI, right? Number one is socialhacks.app, which I just, that was the first AI project I built. And it's, I've built it with one of the tools that I'm going to show you in this video is a full SaaS that you can use to just paste any Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok video, and it will convert it into text, which can be useful if you're a content creator and you want to like use viral content and redo it yourself. And then the next one is Macro Pulse, which is a web Website that you know I I got very tired of reading financial news. It's very clickbaity and whatever. So I build a website that teaches you about finance and the economy based on ma market data and what is happening today without all the clickbait and depressing news. But I could not have built those tools with Lovable, Bold, Replit, or V0. And even if I could have, it would have cost me a fortune. So that brings us to pricing. The pricing is a real issue. So right now, Lovable is probably the most popular among, you know, no code tools. They even have a free plan. So you get like five daily messages per day. And I'm going to explain to you what that means in a second. And their starter plan costs $20 a month, which sounds great, but that just means that you get a hundred messages per month. And again, I'm going to explain to you what that means in a second. Then if you go to bold, you get 10 million tokens for the same price. But if you're not into AI, what does 10 million tokens even mean? I'm not going to explain it in this video, but it's just very confusing if you're like a beginner, right? But it can get worse because Replit, which is really cool. They have a great like app that allows you to code on your phone instead of like on your like desk or whatever, which is really cool. But it's $25 a month if you want to do it monthly. If you do it yearly, you can also pay 20, but $25 per month is, that, that's a bit much. I'm not going to lie. And the way that they say is like, okay, you get like $25 worth of monthly credits, which is approximate 100 agent checkpoints. That means nothing to most people, right? And then the most confusing is V0 by Versal. I love Versal. I use it all the time, but their free plan, amazing doesn't tell you how many messages you can send. And then the premium, also $20 a month, says that you can send 20 to 20, 10 to 20 times more messages than in free. But how many is that? <laughs> I tried looking anywhere on the website. I couldn't find it. Super weird. But what really is a message on Lovable? Well, that's the thing. That's why people like Lovable so much, because the pricing is so clear, even though it's not great if you don't know what you're doing, because... This is the chat box, right? This is the place where you request something from the AI. And because the plan costs $20 a month and you get 100 messages, that makes every time you send a message in this box, 20 cents, which is kind of wild, right? And that message could be something like, I prepared like a little prompt. Let me, let me do it. That message could be something like this. Build a modern mobile first website for a daily habit tracker app. Let's say you're making an app or whatever, right? It should have five sections, a hero with a headline like this, and then some like images here and there, and a final call to action at the end. There should be a download button, yada, 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 right? Make it like clean, fast, conversion focused. Use uh, for the copy, use expert copywriting techniques, proven methods. You get it, like a big prompt. You send this to Lovable, it will create a website for you that uh, you couldn't have done yourself if you're not a coder, right? So this is really good. And sending that message will cost you 20 cents. But you know what will also cost you 20 cents? Make the download button blue. <laughs> so if you send this message, it will also cost you the equivalent of 20 cents. And so that means with Lovable, you really need to pay attention of how much you've write into this chat box, into your prompts, right? 
The ideal is that you're, you do a very descriptive, maybe you use chat GPT or whatever to write great prompts that then you give to lovable, right? So that can be good if you make real use of it, but most people won't and they're going to like waste a lot of messages. So this is becoming very expensive, right? And just to give you an idea, the apps that I have built, like social hacks and macro pulse, they would have cost a few hundred messages each. So it's not easy to build comprehensive, nice apps. A little website, sure, you can do that. But if you want to build apps that do something, that integrate with other things, do some AI stuff or whatever, right? The really cool stuff that people would buy from you, maybe pay a membership for, this is going to be very hard to do in these apps. And this is where apps like Cursor are different. These are significantly more intimidating, if you will, because they are designed for developers and net, not for the no code crowd. So when you look at this, you're like, oh, I'm not a developer, but I ask you to bear with me because using them is way easier than you think. And not only that, but they're also significantly cheaper. So Cursor only charges $20 a month and they give you 500, what they call fast premium requests per month. For all intents and purposes, one request equals one message on Cursor. There are ways to spend more, but the vast majority of people, including myself, use one request for one message. And it doesn't end there because that means fast premium request, right? They also, and that is so unsustainable, I don't know how they do it and they will not do it forever, but they do it right now. They give you unlimited slow premium request. But then on top of that, when you reach this, you can continue to ask the AI, th the AI things, but it will slow you down. So it will take like, you know, five, 10 seconds or so to like answer every query. So this can be very frustrating, but the point is it's free and included in your plan. And then there is also Windsurf, which is Cursor's biggest competitors, no doubt about it. So I actually started with Cursor and then I used the free trial and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then I saw people talking about Windsurf, which is Cursor's biggest competitor. And to be honest, this did significantly better than Cursor in a lot of things, but they messed up their pricing good. So you think, oh, wow, okay, that's also like 500 premium models for like th these names. They're like, they're so dumb. It's like 500 premium model user prompt credits. Who says something like that? See, that's why Lovable is successful because they say messages, done. And you think, okay, $15 per month for 500, so it's $5 cheaper than Cursor. No, because they had this genius idea to introduce flow action credits, which when you go to Cursor and you ask it something, it will just take one credit and it does everything that you want. When you do it with Windsurf, it will charge you one user prompt for the actual request and then one flow action credit for everything that the editor actually does. So if you say, build me a website, it might cost you like 50 flow credits instead of one credit at Cursor. If it wasn't for this, I would unconditionally recommend you use Windsurf instead of Cursor. Unfortunately, they don't. So Cursor is the way to go. But now you might think, wow, Cursor, that looks like a real development tool. I'm not a developer. I just want to, okay, look at it. We're going to take a look. And after this, you're going to download this thing and you're going to thank me. This is what Cursor looks like with a fully loaded project. This is Macropulse, the tool that I showed you earlier that educates you on finance and economy. And this is how it looks like when you actually use it. Again, this can be super intimidating, but bear with me because when you start it for the first time, let me, where is it? Close folder. You can say open project. So that's how cursor looks like when you start it for the first time. Then you say open project. I'm going to go here and then just say a website test for YouTube. So you just create a folder, then go into this folder and say open. Now you're in a fresh project for cursor. This is not much different than lovable with the exception that you pay four cents instead of 20 cents every time you send a message in this little editor here, right? So let's do that. I created a little prompt. Let's run it, right? So build a modern mobile first website for the copy, blah, blah, blah. 
So the thing that I highly recommend that you do, because if you're not a developer, there are some tools that these AIs would want to use and install. But because you're not a developer, you need to tell it not to do that. That is something that you have to do once. Whenever you start talking to it, you have to do it again, but it saves you a lot of money. So this is the critical part right here. Use only static HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You know what? You don't need to, you don't need to remember this. You don't need to understand this. In fact, I'm going to put this whole prompt in the description down below so you can like copy it and try it for yourself. But basically just tell it, do not install any packages. Do, whoops, do not use TypeScript. You don't need to understand any of this. Keep it as simple as possible. I'm not a coder. I just want to get a website up for my app. Um, let's just double down. Just make sure to make it super modern, add micro animations and uh, generate some mock-up screenshots with SVGs. Again, you don't need to understand any of this. I'm going to put this down below and let's just see what's going to happen. So now it's going to go away and just do it. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit because this might take a minute or two, but let's see. Now it's being very uh, overly cautious and it will even create a readme file for you so that you know how to actually open this website because we told it that you're not a developer, right? And if we look at it, let's see. Okay, Habit Master app landing page, a modern mobile first landing page for the Habit Master habit tracking app. So if you already know the name of an app or of your website or business, then obviously change up the first prompt that we uh, that we gave it. But yeah, now it just tells you, okay, simply open the index.html in your web browser to view the website locally. I just have to go to the folder where we where we, that we opened in cursor and just click on the, wow. Okay. And click on the index.html. And that is what it created. Wow. There are some actual images that it created. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty, wow. Micro animations. Okay. That's cool. That's a, that's a good start, but here's the beauty about AI, right? Now I would say, you know what, let's make this. Let's make this all a little bit uh, smaller so that we can see the website while we code on it, right? Let's say add a navigation bar at the top that scrolls to the individual sections. Make the download button at the end more visible by or like we can simplify this make the world at the end uh at the end white with black text for increased contrast then i don't like how all the images are on the left side so we can just say uh flip the unlock your full potential around image right text left what else mm, yeah let's 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 do that we sent the message again and now it will do these changes for you just like lovable words that is a website guys that is a website that cost us this was two messages this website cost us the equivalent of eight dollar cents eight dollar cents that's crazy it would have cost you 40 cents on 40 cents 40 cents on lovable and it's responsive right so now you see what it would look like if it was on your phone okay, this menu doesn't work ah oh, it's still working <laughs> okay now it's working wow even a nice animation up here too when you click on it cool it scrolls there Okay, that button is a bit ugly, but the animation is a bit broken, but you get it. You can just continue to iterate for four cents per message for 500 messages a month.
So this is Cursor. I hope that you give it a try. Plus, if you want to build apps like the ones that I showed you earlier, like Macropulse, for example, you will need to use something like Cursor. And if you want to learn how to use these tools, and trust me, it is way easier than you think, then I have a video for you right here.